In Revit, you might find yourself using old AutoCAD details to create typical details for Revit. We're going to look at a way to migrate details from CAD so that we don't get any unnecessary information from the old AutoCAD environment. I've went up to Autodesk Seek and I've downloaded a detail from a manufacturer that's in 2D. It dates back to release 12, so it's pretty old. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a dummy project aside of my live project. The dummy project will serve as a quarantine place for me to go and clean up my information from CAD before I migrate it to Revit and used in my project on the right. So the first thing I want to do is start a drafting view. So I'll start a drafting view by going to the view tab and selecting drafting view. I'm going to give it a name such as jam detail. I'll make it three inches per foot and now I got my detail underway. So I'll just resize the viewport here. And what I can do is go and import that CAD drawing that I downloaded from Seek. So I'll go to the Insert tab, import the CAD file, go to my location where I saved it. I'm gonna go turn the colors to black and white, bring all the layers across, and center to center. So you'll see that the detail comes over as expected. And the next thing I need to do is go and clean it. So I need to explode the import symbol. I'll start by selecting the symbol and exploding it by using the full explode feature. Now what I can do is hide the text to temporarily get it out of the way. So I can use the hide and view permanent option or better yet use the temporary hide information option. This will allow me to get some of the unnecessary line work out of a little way, such as this border and these arrowheads. So I'll continue to clean it up by getting rid of some of this unnecessary information. dimension information is also unnecessary. Okay, now that we've cleaned up some of the unnecessary information, let's start converting the line work over to Revit line work. This is actually a line style that was created when I exploded the AutoCAD drawing. So you can see that it'll leave a, leave a lot of unnecessary information in the file if I explode it in my live project. This is the reason for creating it in the dummy project first. So I'll go and select all the line work and slowly convert it over to more purposeful lines from Revit. So I'll select lit, uh, thin lines here, for instance. So now all the lines that are inside the drawing are actually being used or using Revit lines. Now I can start to modify some of the other lines to be a little bit thicker. Let's say that the frame here wants to be of a medium type. Maybe the glazing here also wants to be of a medium type. We'll do the jip board. as well as this chipboard. Maybe the stud inside wants to be thicker. Maybe these fasteners here, here, and here want to be a different line style as well. Okay, so now that I've done all that work, I can bring my text back and start working with my text objects. Now the dimension text is going to be deleted because I'll create a dimension take the place of the old AutoCAD dimension. So I'll select my aligned option, pick the points at which it was referencing, and then move the dimension so that it's readable. I can edit my units as well to modify the suppressing zero issue. Now I can tackle the text. So I'll select all instances of the text by right-clicking on one of them and picking all the text instances in that view and converting them over to Revit text types. So you can see the AutoCAD drawing created these guys and I'm going to change it back to a Revit text type. Now I'll just drag these in line with everybody else and begin to add my leaders. So selecting each segment of text, I can go and add my leaders back in.
So there you go. A simple way to go and convert your AutoCAD detail into a more useful Revit detail. Now I need to get it into my live project. So the first thing I need to do is save this in some form or fashion as a temporary detail. I could also save it up to a, a, ref, a resource file that I have typical details in. Um, but I'll just do a little save on my desktop, so I'll just save this out. I'll replace the one that I have out there. And now what I can do is switch into my live project and basically insert this over. So I'll select my live project. I'll go to the insert tab and I'll use the insert from file command on the import panel and insert views from file. I'll browse to my desktop to the project one file here and you'll see there's the detail that was just saved. So I'll check the box, hit OK and now inside of my live project I have my typical detail. And as you can see it's all Revit elements.